Hello everyone, welcome back to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host, Iggy, and today I'm going to be talking about some G.I. Joe figures that I had on display at the place where I used to live. And what kind of concerned me about this is that at, at the time, I had eight G.I. Joes on display in various uniforms, like I had a crash pilot, um or a scramble pilot, rather, and um, I wonder if they eat scramble eggs. <clears throat> I had a Marine with the parachute and a Marine with the uh, flamethrower. I guess I had more than more than eight. Anyway, uh, there was evidence that all these were just tossed into a box. Um, when I had to leave where I used to live, I had to do it in a hurry, and uh, I was taping boxes together as fast as I could and throwing the figures in. And they weren't protected in any way. Like, I didn't have them wrapped in bubble wrap or anything. They were just shoved in the boxes and off to storage. And um, so these figures that I'm seeing or I'm showing or sharing, showing and sharing, uh, have been in storage for 15 years. And one of the things I noticed about having uh, things in storage that long is all the elastic is all stretched out. For instance, I don't know if you can see that, but he has a knife attached to his leg and the uh, elastic that uh, are the straps to hold it to his leg that is completely stretched out. So I imagine when I get the other figures out, that like the... Um, the straps on the flamethrower or the rifle is probably going to be totally stretched out. But anyway, I did find these. So let's, you know, we can't uh, talk about what I what I don't have. So we'll show you this and hope that I do find the other ones uh, before too much longer. I'm still uh, excavating the storage space for... Uh, action figures and toy soldiers and whatnot. Um, so let's start off with the deep sea diver. Now, four of the the these four figures, two of them are not 40th anniversary GI Joes, and the first one I'm sharing with you is not. It's a uh, timeless collection Joe, and I think it was uh, packaged as the Eight Ropes of Danger. So it came with a treasure chest and a um, octopus. Uh, it wasn't to scale. Well, I guess it might be. I don't know how big octopus is. Octopus eye? <laughs> Sounds like a James Bond movie. Octopus. I remember when I went to see that with my brother, I was so embarrassed to ask the girl for a ticket to see Octopussy. I know I hated that name. But anyway, uh, my brother, he was smart. He saw my discomfort and he said, I want a ticket to see James Bond. I don't know why I didn't think to say that. That was smarter on his part. But anyway, where was I going with, before I got off on that story? Uh, eight Ropes of Danger. Uh, it's almost the same thing as I had, although I believe that my uh, deep sea diver from the 60s had a rubberized suit, and this one appears to be just like a regular fabric. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's not rubberized. Can you see that? It's just regular, like a, like a uh, Oxford shirt fabric or something. Uh, one thing I noticed that I liked about it is that where it says G.I. Joe on the breastplate, they painted it red. On my original, that was not painted like that. Um, everything else seems to be the same, although I noticed that the, um, the, the lead weights or whatever they used for this are not as heavy and they don't fit on the boots as well. Uh, the helmet fits together better than what I had originally. On mine, you screwed it on, and when you tightened it, the, the helmet was like somewhat twisted 
to the side a little bit, so it didn't f uh, fit together very well. Also, I discovered that I had the breastplate and the helmet uh, backwards. So, <laughs> anyway. Uh, also, I noticed that the hoses that you see here are longer than what I had on my original uh, deep sea diver. Um, here's what the original deep sea diver looks like. This is the one that I would have had. And you can see that the hose is not nearly as long. Uh, this one appears to be quite a bit longer. And I like the description that they put in here. It says, everything in this set worked, from the helmet, uh, faceplate, to the air hoses and whatnot. And I'm like, well, that's technically not true. But anyway, he said the pressure, they say here, the pressure gauges worked. And I'm like, well, that's technically not so. But anyway... This was one of the my favorite sets when I was a kid. And uh, I had it in the pool so much, the suit rotted away. So I ended up... Oh, and also the G.I. Joe that was in the suit, uh, his parts inside his body rusted, and his arms and legs fell off. So I had to throw him out in the suit. And then eventually I threw out the weights and the weighted uh, boots... And all I had left was the helmet, which I still have to this day. I'm not sure why I threw the weights out, but, you know, I was a kid, so I, I don't remember. But um, this was a great set. I got it for my birthday uh, in 1965. Okay, uh, the next one I'm going to share with you, uh, let's do the Astronaut. Now, this astronaut is not a 40th anniversary figure, as is this one. So of the four, these two front ones are Timeless Collection. And this is the Mercury Astronaut, which was released in 1997. And, you know, it's funny. I remember I was with my friend Doug when I bought this. Uh, every Tuesday, we would go out looking at stuff, and we would go... Uh, Doug would probably drive all over the San Fernando Valley in the Los Angeles County, and we'd stop at every Toys R Us. He stopped at Toys R Us that I never even knew existed, but uh, we went everywhere looking for stuff. And we'd also go to Target looking for stuff and Walmart. Um, now I do still have my original astronaut and space capsule. I had to do some repairs on the space capsule because uh, while it was in storage, it got punctured a couple times. But my brother, who's an expert modeler, uh, repaired it and did a wonderful job of repairing it. So you can't even tell that it was patched. Um, it's interesting that when I took the... Uh, I had the spacesuit on the uh, Air Force G.I. Joe for, I don't know, three decades, four decades. And I took it off and the Joe was like in mint condition. No fading, no blemishes, no dirt. And, and it's because it had been protected by the spacesuit for all those years. The only thing that uh, I have on my original that's uh, broken is that the communication link that you plugged into the space capsule, uh, the little tip of it that you plug in had broken off. But otherwise, everything about it is in very good condition. Um, this does not have a regular G.I. Joe. I'm going to show you what he looks like. He's that weird looking Joe. That guy. I, I, I prefer to have a regular... G.I. Joe head sculpt. But I I like this very much, and it does have some details that are superior to my original set, and one of those things being, uh, I don't know, is this for recycling air or what? what it, do you guys know what this is for? 
Um, I've seen astronauts carrying that. Is it like for air conditioning? But what good would that be in space? I don't know. I'm just speculating out loud, trying to figure out what these things are for. Uh, I'm sure that one of you out there knows exactly what that's for, and maybe you could leave a comment. Did I uh, mark a page here for that? Well, here's the uh, the packaging. No, that's for a different set, this one here. This is the one I've got. No, that's not what I have either. Oh, you know what? This is the astronaut set from 1967. And I had an earlier one, I think from 65. Oh, man, I should have marked the page. Why do I go through this every time? This book, by the way, is very helpful. Um, it illustrates all the different sets and, and uh, uh, special offers like the uh, observation post. Okay, this is more like the one I had here. Where's the space capsule? Now, the space capsule that I got came with a record, and it it, ha it was a re 45 record recording of um, the space launch. And, uh, and then, of course, the, we, it came with a reproduction Mercury space capsule. And I think the Sears exclusive came with a... Uh, floating collar so that you could it looked just like that but it was like a horseshoe and you put it around your space capsule and when you put it in the pool uh it would keep it from sinking although the the capsule did float on its own you know what i need to save this page because i wanted to show you that to you what's over here okay Let's take this bookmark and we'll place that there because we want to talk about that later. You know what, guys? See this? I wanted that so, so bad when I was a kid. Both the German and the motorcycle. The kids across the street, um, they had one of these, but they had it with a Japanese uh, rising, not a rising sun, but the red circle. And they had two Imperial Japanese troops to go with it one to, to uh, drive and one to sit as a passenger. And I remember going across the street and playing with that. I wanted that really badly. But now I have one from Ultimate Soldier that's even better than that. So, But I still wouldn't mind having that. My friend Doug said that his parents got him this. Uh, there was a TV show called The Rat Patrol. And... Um, Christopher George, who was the actor who uh, played Sergeant Troy, I think it was, uh, he injured himself very badly because uh, he was standing uh, behind the gun and, and the jeep would fly up in the air and come down really hard. And he, his body was being slammed back and forth. But uh, he suffered from that experience for years afterwards. Okay, I'm not seeing the capsule. Um, I should have marked the page, but, you know, Iggy seems to have a weird problem with doing that. Oh, here's the uh, uh, action pilot crash crew firefighter. And I have that up here, and I'll share that with you in, in just a moment. Here's pictures of actual firefighting equipment that they base the suit on. And you can see that this helmet here is exactly like the one that uh, they designed for the G.I. Joe. So that's pretty cool. All right, now. All right, I was hoping to be a... Oh, I had the sea sled when I was a kid. And the same fate that befell the deep sea diver happened to this, the uh, bleach and chlorine in the pool uh, ruined the Joe and he fell apart and the, the suit became rotted. The only thing that's left from it that I still have is the uh, fins, 
the uh, and the face mask, and the straps on the air tank uh, rotted away. This is what the box looked like. Now, uh, I think it was Sears that had an exclusive, and what it was was a sea cave made of plastic, and I think it shows it right here, this right here, and it's very rare to find that. If you are able to find one that's not smashed up, uh, you're pretty lucky. Now, this is what the box to my space capsule looked like. And, of course, here's the space capsule. And on my original, where you plug this in, it's uh, busted. But anyway, there's another si uh, view of the artwork. So, because of this, I, I wanted to, to buy this as well. Now, the next one up is the uh, Scuba Diver. Now, this is a 40th anniversary figure. And when I was a boy in 1964, I really wanted that, and I never got it. And I remember when I got the sea sled, it came with an orange scuba suit, which I absolutely hated. And I don't know why, because, you know, it was probably, the sea sled was probably inspired by James Bond uh, Thunderball, and because the good guys wore orange scuba suits. I didn't care for that part of uh, Thunderball because the underwater sequences I thought were kind of dull. Just like Moonraker, except in Moonraker, the space battle was ridiculous. Ludicrous. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you a 1964 scuba suit, but I might have to go back too far to find that. Anyway, this book is the third edition of the G.I. Joe uh, Encyclopedia, and it's written by Vincent Santelmo. And he used to get G.I. Joes when he was a little boy. And this identification guide is also written by him, and I put it up there just for ambiance. Uh, that's an identification code to be able to uh, see how old your G.I. Joe is, is it authentic, and and whatnot. Now, the last item to share with you, oh, I put the life raft up there for, uh, I don't I guess decoration, I don't know, um, is the, let's, let's move our deep sea diver here for just a moment and show you this. This is a pretty cool set. And uh, it came with the fire extinguisher, and he's got a belt that's got um, like an axe on it and flashlight and other tools that you might need if you're fighting fires. And uh, it's really neat. I, I wanted this when I was a kid, but I never got this one either. But there he is. You can see the collar of his uh, Air Force suit and... The color of it would indicate it. it's the uh, buttercup. Is that what they call it? Buttercup color? It's the light yellow instead of the orange. And uh, my original Air Force G.I. Joe was that color. I, I don't think it's as common as the orange suits. that you Like, for instance, he's wearing an orange suit. And I marked the page because I wanted to show you uh, this really cool vehicle that you could get to go along with the crash crew. There it is. I marked this page. I'm getting smarter. Well, not really. So there it is. And I think this pumped water, too, if I'm not mistaken. But it's pretty neat. Okay, guys, that's it for Iggy. I want to thank you for getting Iggy with it. And I'll see you next time. I'm going to hit the dusty trail. I'll meet you guys back at the ranch. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you do that. You don't want to miss any fun. I post a lot of videos because I have a lot of things to get through. And um, I'll see you with my next video, guys. Thank you. Good night.